Welcome to another theory video. This video is on Cape IT Unit 1. I hope you learned something. Alright, so let's move on now. Relationship between data. Alright, data, raw facts and figures. You should be good at that. It's essentially data that a computer could use and represent. Alright. Data has been given meaning when you turn it into information. So information is data that has been processed. Um, in essence, data is used by computers and information is used by humans. Usually information is what humans like. Data is what computers like, right? So information is formed when you take data and give it a context and meaning. So if you give data context and meaning, it will turn to information. And in order to give something context and meaning, it has to go through some sort of process. So processing will make a difference. So knowledge now is when you take the information and form a conclusion based on known facts. Right? So look at this example here. Raw data. We give it our context and it's called test scores achieved by students. Cool. If you process that now, you could do something called average. So the processing is average. So raw data, given our context, we have all these numbers here and our test scores created by students. And then when you process that, the information that you get from it is the average score of the students. Next, so you have raw data of all sorts of ice cream names. Then the context is there are tubs of ice cream that were sold yesterday. Good, so now we could process them and find some. And the sum will now create information. And we present it in our chart for people to see. And the knowledge that you get from it will be that the shop manager. We'll see that vanilla is the most popular ice cream flavor. Next time he places our order, he'll ask for five times as much vanilla ice cream than chocolate ice cream. So for our usage, we care more about um data information knowledge. We really too 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 much up on the wisdom. But knowledge is where you give it some sort of context, information is where you give it some sort of meaning. Raw data will be Um, right, so information processing now is when you take that information and you go through a series of activities to go from input process into output and um, in order to produce meaningful and useful information. So information processing, the goal is to produce meaningful and useful information. So you take an input, or you take a set of inputs, you carry it through some sort of process, and put it output, and that's what's going to happen there. Um, during the input phase, um, you capture raw data. The data can come from inside or outside, internal or external data. During the process phase, you can put the raw data into a form that's useful to the organization. Um, it could be putting the data like into a database or running some queries or doing some sort of summarization. Um, processes are usually for like computer scientists to be like add, um, subtract. Just think of maths, right? Average or like Excel. You have all these different functions that you could do. That'll be for processes. Output that will be transferring or transmitting the process information to all the people that would need it. Who would need it? Well, people. Storage would be um when you store it for future use. So sometimes you would store the data to process it later. So you might collect all the sales for a day, and then you would store it in a folder, and every day you would collect sales. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you stored all of them, and then on Saturday you'll calculate the total amount of sales you had for the week. And feedback is if you get an answer like some, 
and then you take some now and give it back as an input. And the sum now will be able to give you something like average. I don't know, some sort of thing like that. Feedback would be getting an output and then feeding it back in. Thanks for watching the theory video. If you learned something, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe, do whatever you have to do. And if you want practical applications of the things, feel free to check out any of my classes. You can find them on my website at makeitsimplett.com. I have classes for all different subjects from CSEC IT, CAPE IT, CAPE Computer Science, and many different tutorial videos that you could find on this channel. So, um, thank you very much and look out for the next video that is here or here because I have all the theory videos for all the subjects.